I'm going to be hitting the thrifts again today. I think this should be a pretty fun vlog. It's Thursday and I have a pretty busy weekend ahead of me. Today just doing some thrifting and then I think I'm going to try and make it to the skate park and do a little bit of skating and probably film some of that. And then tomorrow, which is Friday, I'll probably do some more thrifting and then I'm headed to a concert in Milwaukee. And then on Saturday, I'm headed to Madison to go see my girlfriend and also go to Mifflin, which is just the big darty that they have every year. And then when I'm headed back Sunday, I'll do a bunch more thrifting on my way home. First find here is a single stitch Carolina Panthers like tie-dye tee, pretty cool. I don't know if I've seen something like this before, this 90s Nike knit sweater vest, pretty cool. I think I just found something very good here. Oh yeah, Northwestern, I think that's the collision hat. Not sure what comps are at, but I know this is a good hat. Just has to be reshaped a little bit. And then this one, not nearly as cool as that, uh, but I'm gonna pick it up. Got a good pair of jorts here. And then I also found these vintage Reebok nylon shirts. They're pretty interesting. And then we got this woman's North Face Denali. It is $14.99, but orange tags are half off. Oakley's having its moment in the fashion world right now, so I will be picking up this little quarter zip too. Here's another look at that hat. I checked comps and I couldn't find the Northwestern one, but a lot of them were around like 70 to 150. I'm probably gonna ask like 85 for it. Everything I got at that store was $50, so, uh, this find alone was more than enough to pay for the whole haul, so that was pretty sweet. Just arrived at the skate park. It looks pretty mellow, which is good because I'm not very good, so I'm gonna go skate a little bit. Here's the park. I'm eyeing up this little box. I'm gonna ollie on it and then ollie off. I haven't been skating in a while, so I'm pretty rusty. I'm gonna just do some flat ground quick. That was an all right skate sesh. As you saw in the clips, I wasn't able to ollie off the end of the box because it was kind of big and I definitely wasn't going fast enough, but that was all right because I got the three stair and I was not expecting to get the three stair at all. I'm excited to do a lot of skating this summer and it'll be nice to track my progress on here. I think that's going to be all the filming for today. I'll talk to you guys when I'm at the thrift tomorrow. I lied. One more thing before I see you at the thrift tomorrow. For all my skaters out there, what shoes do you skate? I've really only ever skated the Converse One Star Low Tops, but I want something with a little more ankle support, so I'm thinking about trying out a pair of half calves. So, for all my skaters, what shoes do you guys skate, and have you skated half calves, and how do you like them? Thank you. Alright, I know I said I was done filming for today, but I stopped by the thrift right by my house quick, and I found some stuff. Got this 99 Rose Bowl crew neck, and then this 90s Fruit of the Loom stressed out approach with caution raglan crew neck this is the best pull that i've ever had this koji sweater for look at the price 6.99 holy shit and then nothing else i find is ever gonna top that which is kind of sad but then we got this golf crew neck here's another look at this beauty this is crazy someone's grandpa must have died on this textured golf sweater and then another good sweater and then just a little 96 Packers long sleeve button up. The finds keep on coming here. Just got two more crew necks. This one here, and we got a Champion Wisconsin. Both of these are $12.99, but I'm gonna pick them up anyway. These Carhartt pants, just cause Carhartt sells really well for me on Depop. I think I may have to grab a cart. It's jort season, so I gotta pick up the black jorts. We got a three piece of really cool jorts here. Uh, these old navy ones. These Lee Pipes BMX with some crazy pockets. And then these Tommy ones. The only thing is, I think they're kid size, but they're like big enough to where a smaller adult could fit into them. And they're all only $2.99. So I might as well pick them up. Putting the old Navy ones back, but I'm getting the Lee Pipes and the Tommy ones. That haul was nuts. I paid $103 for all that. And with the Kuji sweater, that's, that's crazy. Well, that was pretty crazy. Here she is. Uh, I think it's real. I'm not entirely sure. I'll have to like check it out a little bit, but regardless, it is super cool. 
This is actually the third Kuji sweater I've ever found. About a year ago, I found two at the same thrift store, but this one is definitely way cooler than the other two I've found, so that is awesome. One second, I gotta get my clickbait thumbnail. It's kind of crazy, like I wasn't even really gonna stop at that thrift because it's the one that's right by my house and I've been there every day for like the past week and haven't really found anything. And then I just found all that. So I guess if you're ever contemplating going to the thrift store or not, the answer is always go to the thrift store. You never know what you're gonna find. Okay, now I promise that's gonna be all the filming for today. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Good morning, everyone, and happy Friday. Or it's probably not Friday for you, but it is Friday for me. Uh, do you notice anything different about my face? I shaved the facial hair. It just really wasn't helping the stereotype of dirty, stinky vintage reseller that doesn't shower. So I had to let it go and it just did not look good. So I thought it was time to give it a shave. I'm heading to do some thrifting and in the town where the thrift store is, there's a big community wide rummage sale today. So I will also be attending that. I actually didn't know about the rummage sale, but me and young Savage Fritz were DMing back and forth and he was like, hey man, do you know about this? And I did not know about it. So thank you, young Savage Fitz. I'll uh, pop his Instagram up right here. I listed most of that stuff I got from yesterday. Aside from the Kuji and the Northwestern hat, I just want to look at comps a little more. I listed those Lee pipes at 65 because I was like, uh, I don't really know what the price I'm at. And there's like some not as cool pairs going for like 50. So I put them at 65. Not even like 30 minutes later, they're already in someone's bag. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to price them a little higher and test my luck and I'll accept an offer if I get a good offer. They're a really good size too because I'm pretty sure Lee pipes were only made for kids. I researched it a little bit and they were made in 1997 and it was for like I think 8 to 12 year olds that were like really into extreme sports which is kind of funny. But the shorts I got measured to be like a 27 inch waist and I somehow squeezed into them. A smaller adult can fit in these so that's good. And then I also don't know what to price that Kuji sweater at really, I just have to look at more pounds. Just arrived at the thrift, I got those exclusive custom pizza stained Carhartt double knees on right now. Can't get these anywhere else. We finally found the jorts. I might take all of them. Major score right here, we got green pair and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pairs. We got another green pair. We got the hometown heater. It's like reverse wave style, but it's a Lee cross grain. And then this one is insane. This USA with the flag on the back has me feeling patriotic. Tip for all my resellers out there, or even if you're just going thrifting, take all the hangers off so the cashier doesn't have to do it. Just makes their job a little easier. Big old cart of jorts. I also found some stuff for myself. I've been wearing a lot of button-ups recently. I found some cool ones, so I'll show those in a second. Also, all these shorts are size 30, which is my size. And I never find shorts in my size, so I'm definitely gonna be keeping one of the green pairs and then the pair of the blue ones I like the best. I got a little Ralph Lauren long sleeve for myself. Bugle Boy short sleeve, and then this Dickies one that has a little pocket towards the bottom. This is definitely by far the best stretch of thrifting I've ever had. I'm gonna go to that rummage now. We got garage sale numero uno. I see clothes in there. I'll see if I find anything. That was a bus there. That This wasn't like the community rummage though. It was just like a random one I saw on the way. So we gotta head towards the community. Oh, I see another one up there. So I'm gonna stop there. Once again, another bust. I'm probably not gonna film like every sale. I might only film if I find something because I feel like there's gonna be a lot of busting. Pause. There was another thrift on the way to the rummages, but this one's pretty dog water. I'm gonna stop it anyway. It was like right there. So I'll let you guys know if I find anything cool. Fresh off a new rack, we got the America's Pack and a chalk line. Pendleton always sells wool. We got this pure version wool, flannel, sweet. And then this one's 99 cents, and I love Eddie Bauer, so I'm gonna be picking it up for myself. Another Pendleton, someone's gramps must have died. Rest in peace. And then we got a Wrangler Pearl Snap in an excellent green color. Hats, hats, hats. We got them here at Blue Boy Vintage. Got the Zuba style Packers hat, and then the Montana Miller Lite beer hat. No busting there. That was a very good stop. Finally found some stuff at the rummages. We got this Made in USA sweater, very nice, and then a little biker hat. 
decent stop there they had a bunch of camo but i only picked up this three dollar long sleeve tee and then this was three dollars as well just a little button up and then best thing from there 1950s hunting coat in this beautiful red color here's that tag i just got home i didn't really find too much at the rummage but i found one more hoodie so i'll show that quick nice little y2k silver tag nike I have a ton of orders to pack up and I gotta do some laundry of inventory and take some pictures. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna go to that concert. Where are we headed, Levi? Panchico concert. Panchico. What's up, blue boy? Vintage. Opener just finished up, it was pretty good. Didn't really film at the show, but it was cool. I'm gonna go to bed and head to Madison in the morning. Good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. I'm on my way to Madison now and it's gonna head to Mifflin. Hey, look, we're at the University of Wisconsin Madison for Mifflin. Everyone loves Mifflin. Oh, wrong way. Oh, party up. Good morning, everyone. It's Sunday. I'm headed home right now. It's 7 45. I wanted to leave a little early because I'm moving on Wednesday and I need to get packed still. Mifflin was a good time though. I'm just gonna drive for a bit and then hit some thrifts close to my house and wrap the vlog up. My phone died while I was driving, but I found a couple things, so I'm gonna show those real quick. Found three pairs of Made in USA orange tabs in that good 560 cut. And we also got this Made in USA Woolrich fleece, and it was also 50% off, so it was 350. And the last find was this wool cardigan. I picked it up just because stuff like this does well at my pop-ups. That's all for this video. Everything should be up on my Depop by the time this is posted. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.